are back here and we are going to fix those against light footage. First off, I've set my settings to uh, color management. So color manage it. So uh, 2.4, 2.4, but we have to bypass this because, uh, for example, we're not sure what camera we're using. So 2.4, 2.4, and then uh, we'll fix that later. So, okay. Save. So if you don't want to do that, we also have the color space transform. We're going to go to input color space, go to Panasonic V gamut, and then we're going to use the Panasonic V log. Yeah, I know this is V log L. Now with this, you could actually notice that it's already against the light. That this clouds have been burnt out, but from our footage, from the V log footage, it's not supposed to be that way. So first off, let's fix out first our color management out of color space. We used uh, we'll use Rec 709 the standard for screen, and then we're going to use a Gamma 2.4 because that's what our, uh, our screen supports, and our tone mapping use so luminance. So in the words itself, luminance. So we're going to use a max output of 100 saturation mapping. Okay. So guys, don't forget. Please like my page, uh, and if you want to learn more about color grading, don't forget to subscribe here. First things first is we know that this is this is in the shadows, but here's the first process that we could actually do in um, fixing shots against the light. For me, I think it's better if we actually do it a little bit, uh, give it more dynamic range or make it a high dynamic range shot. So. First off, we are going to fix our primaries, and this shot was, sh sh once again, this was shot with a GH4, shot in 4K, and V-Lock. So primaries, once again, first things first, if you're going to do color correction, color correct using your waveforms and vector scopes. So waveform. So our skies seem to be in the right place, uh, right over here, and then we could uh, add more shadow. Oh, Jepster, why are you... Bring it down. I thought we we're going to make it not against the light. You have to wait for it. Okay, so that's one. Okay, let's add a bit of contrast so we can make it more more cinematic. Okay, Jeff, so what are you doing? You're making it uh, darker. You just wait, guys. You're going to get there. Okay, next off, uh, you might be saying, Jeff, so it's now really against the light because, you know, you made it darker. You... Uh, you lifted down your shadows a bit more you can't contrast and such okay okay here's one way to fix it okay uh, like Photoshop or uh, even Adobe Premiere uh, we have what we call the shadows and the highlights okay so now we want to raise our shadows and in order to do that we have here uh, in our primaries we have here in number two uh, temperature tint uh, midtone detail color boost and shadow so with, since we are here in the shadows, we could actually bring these up and ooh, without actually affecting our highlights. Ooh. Now we have detail. Now we, ha we are now, we have a good range in the sky and now we have also good range in our shadows. You can see the shot is more acceptable compared to before. So this is before, this is after. Okay. So that is one way to do it. Here's another way to do it. Um, if you've noticed here, I have lows, mids, and highs. Uh, this is actually a color separation uh, separated uh, with the parallel layers. Okay, so it's a parallel nodes. Uh, it's quite advanced, but this is actually uh, very, very advanced. So if you're familiar with the resolve, this could actually help you. So let's go to our mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, lows and we select only our shadows. Okay, so there we go. Uh, okay, more of the shadows. We soften that up. And then we have the mids. Let's just select the mids. No shadows. Okay. Okay, so the shadows. Uh, okay. The mids is here to roll the highs. Alright. So we soften that up. Like I said, this is a little bit advanced, so it's going to be more at, uh, what do you call this? 
you have to do a lot more effort with this. So we only going to select the highs. Okay, there we go. The highs with the sky. All right, All right. So this is another way to do it. So you can, uh, choose the lows, the mids, and the highs. And once again, that's one way to do it. But it's it's a lot more effort if you're going to create three more parallel nodes just to make that happen. And lastly, we have the curves. Now, this is going to be a little bit tricky when you're going to use the curves because when you're going to use the curves, you have to use uh, the, what do you call this? The qualifier tool. So when you're here in the curves, you could actually select which area and you'll know which area of the curve is your dark area. And when you raise that up, and then that's when it will light up. Now, here's the tricky part, like I said earlier, is that you have to do a lot of uh, adjustments. So you could actually raise this up and it will affect the entire image. So this is going to be a little bit tricky. So it's not as ideal as the other methods that I mentioned, but if you're used to curves, that is one way to do it. Okay, so we are going to compare all three versions. So once again, the differences between the three. So we have here the, uh, what I call this, the qualify, uh, primaries, the, the shadows and highlights, and then here we have the separation, and here we have the using curves. Okay, so uh, each adjustment requires you to adjust the noise, uh, noise levels differently. So. I guess, uh, yeah, it's up to you which uh, method you like to use. So that's uh, how I actually fix my footage that is shot against the light. Yes, that's all. So uh, probably next week uh, we'll be dealing with uh, importing footage from Adobe Premiere. So a lot of people have been asking me about that. Uh, Jepster, my projects are all in Premiere, but I want to uh, grade them in Resolve and I don't know how to do it. So how do we do it? And then I want to bring it back to Premiere. So and that's why we're going to talk about that next week. And I hope to see you again, guys. So, so thank you again and I'll see you again. So if you have any questions, if you have any kind of footage that you hope to know how to fix in Resolve, just let me know. In if you want your own footage to be uh, fixed, just send me up a private message and I'll try to fix that for you. If you want like your footage, is your footage too pink, too blue, too green because of the lights, let's see if we can fix that. Fix your footage that is like this, that's shot against the light, just let me know. And so I could show everyone how to do it in Resolve. And that's it.